What's going on, everybody? ArcLad84 here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Arc the Lad 2. Okay, uh, last episode, we journeyed to a new continent, new country known as Balbalard. Uh, we did a little bit of exploring around town, checked out a guild. No jobs available, but apparently there was some mysterious, some weird guy named Rada that wanted us to help him with something. But uh, before we could do that, we were asked to go hunt down a certain monster known as Rayburn. Some demonic uh, monster bird. Uh, we didn't end up killing it. We let it go since apparently it was a mother trying to protect her nest. And apparently we passed this guy's test. And we even got an emerald for it. For it. Um, so now Rada has something uh, he's going to help us with. And we are to meet him at the bar. So let's head on over there right now and see what uh, he's got for us. He was going to introduce us to someone that could handle the sandstorm over at the pyramid. So let's see what this guy's got to say. Ah, it is just I'd hoped. You decided to trust me. Come, I shall show you what I promised. Let's be pay, then we can go. He's honest enough, he's not gonna make us foot the bill. Remember, you are the Sultan at Abib's world of alcohol. Come again soon. Okay. <laughs> okay, follow me. Right then, let's see where he takes us. Better not be a trap. I'm so used to that by now. Now then, to fulfill my promise to introduce you to the one who controls the sandstorm. Wasn't there something you wished to ask of us? Yes, but we will discuss that later. Now I shall tell you that the one controlling the sandstorm is... The Chief of the Saryu Tribe. Whoa, that's a name we haven't heard in quite some time. The Saryu Tribe? Aren't they in Zarabon? At one time, yes, but they migrated here. What? Why? I can tell you no more. Come, they are camped east of the Kanara Desert. I will take you there. So some of the tribe... I remember in the, in the first game, a lot of the Saryu got destroyed by Andel's men, but apparently there's some that still survived. Huh. Well, go figure. Good thing there were some survivors. That's a relief. What's wrong? Um, no, nothing. What's this guy up to? Oh. I wonder who this guy is. Roto! Yes, it has been some time, has it not, my brother? <laughs> you were the one that left, remember? This is not the time for that conversation. I have come with guests. I would like you to meet them. Come in. Hi. Hello. If this is another ill-conceived attempt to change my mind, it won't work. The Saryu tribe will fight Zaraban until our dying breath for what they did. Our enslavement to Babalard for their help is a small price to pay for revenge. As chief of the Saryu tribe, it is my decree. Nam, why continue to hate? We traveled all this way, and finally found a land where we can live in peace. This is the time to let go of the past and build our tribe's future. You are not a man. How dare you even think of peace when our tribe was killed so mercilessly? They killed everyone. Warriors, women, children. It did not matter to them. Rata, our time for revenge is nearly here, brother. The king has taught me of a powerful weapon in the pyramid that is nearly finished. When it is finished, he has promised to use it on Zaraban first. What the... All that I must do is continue to protect the pyramid until the weapon is complete. The power that used to seal the water guardian has served us well. It now protects the pyramid and our best chance at avenging our tribe's destruction. You have been deceived. The weapon the king speaks of is a Romalian mind-control device. 
Hide? Control? I have no reason to believe that the king would deceive me. And that's why you're falling in why you're falling into his trap. Nam, we have been used by Ramalia. This is all part of some elaborate trap, and the king is part of it. We have to ask for help to get mother out before it is too late. Silence! Enough! Get out of my sight! Your words do nothing but confuse what is clear in my mind. You stubborn bastard! You'll never change, will you? Let's go, Ark, Erk, Lisa. You can rest in my tent before leaving. Brotherly troubles, it seems. I am sorry you had to be a part of that. No need to apologize. I believe he knows what was said is true. That's the only explanation for how he acted. How's your mother wrapped up in this? I still don't get that part. The story is convoluted. It is easy to get confused. Let me explain. We of the Saryu tribe once lived in Zaraban and were protectors of the Water Guardian. One day, the Zaraban military launched an unprovoked attack and nearly wiped us out. Survivors of that attack traveled constantly until they arrived here. Once here, my hot-headed brother sought an alliance with the King of Thalbalod. He wished to use the King's power to exact revenge on Zaraban. However, the King of Babylon demanded a hostage as proof of Saryu loyalty. He asked for our mother. Consumed by anger, Nam saw only the chance for revenge. He would listen to no one. Our dear mother was sent to the King, and Nam swore allegiance to Babylon. Nam cannot believe that the King has betrayed him, because that would destroy his dream. He would rather live in his revenge fantasy than face the truth. It's a dangerous game, and your mother's life hangs in the balance. Indeed. I want to believe the king as well, but... No, do not even entertain that thought. As long as Babylard's king protects the pyramid, Romalia is involved. I'm beginning to get the picture, Rada. You have been thinking that perhaps we could snatch your mother from danger, right? If that's your wish, we can do it, no problem. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I would go myself, but if the raid were to fail, they would know I was on the Saryu. The King of Babylon would quickly eliminate what was left of our tribe in retaliation. Including your thick-headed brother. Elk! No, he speaks the truth. My stubborn brother has brought all this upon us. Alright then, we'll steal in and get your mother back. Do you know where she is being kept? Yes, they have confined her within the Tukai Cave, south of here. Don't worry, we'll be back in a flash. Okay, so our next destination now is to go into the Tukai Cave. So now that we've been introduced to this village, I think we can easily go in to and from uh, whenever we want. Uh, there's not really any shops here, I don't think. Let me double check if there's anyone that uh, sells anything. Not really holding my breath, but you know, just to see. Usually, if there was a, a, a store, they'd have a sign or something up set for it. But, anyways, uh, let's head on out and make our way south to the cave, the Tukai Cave. Okay. strange. What's the matter? There aren't any guards posted here. Perhaps they're inside? You'd think they'd have somebody post posted around somewhere. Huh. I know there's more danger inside. I mean, that's a dead given. This, they're not, it's not going to be that simple. I know this. Alright, I'm going to use these three and get their levels up a little bit more. I think I might take along Shu and Choco. That ought to be a good enough setup. Alright. Oh boy. Already we got our first set of enemies. Some bats. Gold looking bats. Ark, this place is crawling with bats. 
Bats don't congregate where people live. Agreed. This is not a good sign. There wouldn't be this many bats if people were hiding out in here. I do not see any sign of human habitation in here either. Hmm, perhaps that's why there are no guards inside? Mattis' mother was probably moved to a different site. The only way to know for certain is to check out the cave. Right. So, let's get busy. Alright, new set of bats here. That can cause paralysis. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's a fine start right there. <laughs> oh man. Okay. We're probably gonna have to go nuts with these. Let's see. Fang Bat, level 80. Wow, 10 levels higher than Ark. Thankfully, they don't counterattack. Otherwise, that'd be that'd be really bad. Let's see. Let's put on that platinum edge. Let's go to town with these guys. All right. Also, just in case, we're gonna put up a little bit of protection. Since I taught elk uh, the ability to raise both attack and defense, I just hope elk uh, hope arc gets up soon. Oh, Jesus, come on! Damn it, come on! This is not looking good already. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I need to... I need to... Alright, I should have probably brought Shantae instead. Uh, let's try a... I'm probably going to use one of my cure-all items. Get Ark back on his feet and, and cure everybody. Oh my god. Alright, let's summon an immense storm. Actually, let's get down. Try to see if I can cover everybody with this. Oh, perfect. I was hoping not to have spent that much MP this soon, but. Desperate times call for desperate measures. These guys had to go. Oh, instant level up to Choco. Oh, she needed it. Bad. Oh! Lisa's up. Okay, that's cool. Cure! Please cure! Oh my god. Alright. Let's do a tornado. Ah, oh, shoot. Probably shouldn't have. I probably didn't catch that other bat. No. That other bat's still there. They may have a lot of hit points, and they got paralyzed breath, but at least their defense is like crap. So that's one good thing about it. Woo! Level up to Ark. Cool. Ruse Medicine. Two! Alright, Shu, finish this guy off. There we go. Oh man, Roru's medicine. I believe those are the ones that restore that restore paralysis. Don't? Yep. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to hold on to some of these. Also, another thing to point out in this cave, this is actually where a certain particular job you can finally do uh, takes place in. Now, whether we'll be able to do it through this run or not, um, is yet we'll we'll have to see. Let's tr right now, let's take our time and explore around this cave here. Let's see, what's over to the left? Nothing, okay. I'm trying to keep an eye out for anything, any kind of hidden passageways that might lead to treasure. Let's see, what's over this way? Um, let's see. Okay, there's 
one pathway. Let's see what this leads to. Oh, great! More bats! Hmm. No one home. She must be here. We should look a while longer. Okay, that last battle gave, like, quite a bunch of level ups. <clears throat> mostly to Choco, but she needed it, uh, mostly, because she's like, where is she at now? 39, and I might have to sacrifice the magic apple, because I've been having to have her use her magic quite a bit. I need to watch myself. But those bats, oh my god, it's like, you really have to kill these guys quick. Okay, um, let's see, it's like a, it's like a big labyrinth here, I wonder what's up in here, ooh, what's this, what are you doing in here, I can't be disturbed, can't you see I'm busy, go away, Not long ago, I was walking on the beach and came across this dragon. He was critically injured, barely holding on to life. I took him in, bringing him here so I could return him to health. Hmm? Ah! Are you Piers? Yes. You are the hunter I met so long ago, aren't you? Yes, and you... you seem much more... normal. <laughs> People grow and change. It's no different in my case. And what of you? You look to have grown quite a bit yourself. Well, yeah, kinda. But I really am here to talk about the dragon. Oh, you know him? Well, I know his owner. He hired me to find the dragon for him. Interesting. I didn't know this old boy had an owner. Lisa, can you... Yes. Hello there, dragon. Is your name Elvik? <coughs> yes, Elk. He says he's Elvik. He said tell Ash that he'll return to him as soon as his wounds heal. Good. I'm sure Ash will be relieved to hear that. Well, we're finished here. I guess let's go back. Okay, so... Apparently, along our way going through this, uh, this dungeon, we managed to complete a job finally. Now we just gotta, gotta go back and tell, uh... Tell, uh, Ash that we finished it. So, great, awesome. Okay, um, that's one little job, side, side quest job down. Let's uh, continue onwards. Hmm? Who is... At last, you must be Radha and Nam's mother. Why have you come here? We came to save you. Rada sent us. I'm so relieved we found you. Let's go see your sons. Not so fast. I have a better idea. What the? Hmm. Why don't you stand there so I can kill you like the others? Clever trick. Wanted Monster Gwald, level 81. And level 80 Willow Wisps. We could be in for a bit of a rough fight, but at least we won't have to worry about. We won't have to worry about, um. Paralyzation as much. Which, that's a good thing. Alright. Let's start with. Speed up. We're going to get ourselves buffed up for this. And... I'm going to have my back turned right here. Stay in a perfect plus. Go on the defensive here. Since they want to surround us, we'll play defense. That's right. Go 
ahead and surround us. Okay, let's use strike power. Get our attack power up. Cure, for the love of God. <laughs> Next, we will raise our magic. Okay, Choco. Do your stuff. Let's do... Uh, hir 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 whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. That really messed up their day. <laughs> Let's see. I think we'll take down this guy. And then we will do a... Let's see. Explosion. Takes down two more of those will o wisps. How humiliating! Defeated by children! And he just disappeared. Oh! So, this is another one of those deals where you only had to kill the, the main guy to end it. What was that about? Let's go! Oh no. Is that. It appears to be. Damn it! She's already been killed! Oh, look, there's something here. It's a letter. It starts My dear sons, Nam and Rada. This is definitely their mother, then. This is just sickening. They took a hostage, used her, then killed her. These cowardly bastards don't care about anyone or anything else besides themselves. I have no idea how those men will take this news. Yes, especially Rada. He truly loved his mother. Well, we have to tell them. This place is depressing the hell out of me. Let's get out of here. That's sad. That's really, really sad. Damn it, I hate that. Well, I suppose we better go back and tell them what's going on. Oh, I'm already dreading this. Those assholes! Already killed her! My god, they just... If this doesn't work, I'll follow you, brother. Do you realize what you did? Our mother! Oh, you're back! W where's my mother? Um... Well... Oh, no! Don't tell me you failed! Well, not exactly. The hostage was already dead had been for some time. No! You must be lying! You are assassins from Zaraban! We are not. Here. She was clutching this. It's for you. Give me that! It's a letter? My dear sons, Nam and Rata. This is indeed written in my mother's hand. Nam, if you're reading this, then you know the awful outcome of the course you chose. I cannot blame you for changing since our tribe was nearly destroyed. You were damaged too. Somewhere down deep there is a pain you cannot soothe. I know that you are acting in a way you feel will save our tribe. 
but continuing along it will only result in more hate, more death. Nam, believe in yourself and cast aside your hate for Zarabon. Hatred begets nothing but more hate. If you succeed in exacting your revenge on Zarabon with Babylard's help, do you truly believe that Zarabon will lie dormant and accept your assault? No, they will merely intensify their hatred of you. It is a vicious circle. I have come to believe the words that it is the truly brave who walk away from conflict. To overcome your rage and pain, turning it to a force for good, is the bravest act of all. Nam, as chief of the tribe, I know the burden you bear. It is a great responsibility. Do not be afraid to ask your brother for help. Together, I believe there is no hardship you cannot overcome. My sons, I am proud of you both. No! No! Way! Mother! Why? Why is the king of Babylon allowed this to happen? I will ask that double-crossing jackal myself! Where is the king of Babylon? He is in the pyramid. Not good. Not good at all. That pyramid must be crawling with Romalian forces. If Nam causes a stir in there, it will be all over in a matter of seconds. He'll know that he's been duped as he draws his last breath. We have to catch up and stop him from doing this. I agree that this is the best course of action. However, I need to speak with Rada in private. I shall remain behind. Go ahead without me. You're gonna miss all the fun, but okay. Aw, Ark, you're not coming with us? Lame. Oh well. Yeah, for a little just for a little while, we're gonna be short of Elk. One of one of the best characters with us. So <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to be a little bit more careful from now, because he was our highest level character. Our next highest level was Elk at 68, or I think 69, yeah. So, <laughs> um, but thankfully we've got, we've still got healers, and we've still got badass uh, heavy attackers. We've got Goken, we've got Toshu, we've got Poco. So, we can live without Ark for a little bit. But anyways, guys, um... We are getting a little bit short on time for today's episode. Um, what I'm probably going to do off camera is go back through the cave one more time, because I know there was some treasure I missed. Um, I'll be sure to let you guys know what it was I picked up uh, when we come back. So, um, in the meantime, we are going to take a quick rest at the Muhad Inn. There we go. And next time on Let's Play Ark the Lad 2, we are going to head to the Pyramid and try to stop uh, Nam from getting himself killed, since he is in now in a blind fit of rage. So yeah, fun times to be had. So until then, I am your host, Ark 4 and I shall see you in the next episode. Take it easy, people.